Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you a really quick video on femo canes. Now if you're not familiar with femo canes, they are made out of polymer clay. They're very small, long cylinder strips of polymer clay that are designed to look like various different things. This one is a purple flower. This is a little smiley face. Here's another flower, pink flower. They are pliable, as you can see, but they are still very firm. You can get a knife through them quite easily. Um, they can't be squished. They won't melt in your hands like basic clay will. All you need is an X-Acto knife or a razor blade or any other type of sharp knife. If you're going to be using a knife of some sort from the uh, kitchen, please note that if you do, um, you will need to keep that knife for your, strictly for your cutting and you cannot return it to use it with food. So we're just going to take one cane right here. We're going to press it down, hold it with one hand with your fingers, and you're going to take the razor blade and you're going to make a nice, tight, thin slice putting even pressure on the knife with one swoop. Just like that. Very simple. Oops. See, if you do it too thin, what happens? But that's okay. Not the end of the world. You can do various thicknesses and you can use these for just about anything. If you're going to be using them for nail art, which most people do use these for that, you want to make sure that you get a pretty tight, a pretty thin slice. The thicker the slice, the more problems you're going to run into as far as adhering it to your nail, staying on your nail. You want to get some um, fairly thin. This one's not too bad, still a little bit thick. It takes a little bit practice. I de definitely recommend that you um, buy several canes together and maybe there's one design that you don't like and you use that particular cane to practice on get nice, thin, even strokes. But it's very simple. Now, the easiest place to find these Fimo canes are on eBay. Um, most of them are coming from overseas, Hong Kong, in that area. But you can find some that are in the States. Um, the prices are usually pretty good, um, regardless of what area that you're ordering them from. But if you are ordering merchandise from overseas, you know that it takes quite a while. So if you are impatient like me, <laughs> Um, then you look for a, a U.S. Uh, seller or a seller that's fairly close to you, Canada, etc. Um, I use one particular seller for all my female canes and she sells in various bulk from 15 canes to 30 canes to 50, 60, 100 canes. Um, I think I've got about 120, 130 canes here right now. And there's fruit canes, and this is a little yin-yang, another f um, flower, another flower. Here's a little Chanel symbol. I'm not sure if the camera will pick that up. Uh, it's a butterfly star. They're really, really cute. Here's that, um, I know it's from Hello Kitty, but I can't remember the name of it. Um... Yeah, my camera's not that great, so it's not focusing. But there's tons, and they have Christmas ones and fruit ones, and here's a Valentine's heart one. They're really, really cute, really fun, something different for nail art. And, of course, you can use these for various other projects to decorate your phone, um, an iPod. The possibilities for these are endless. So I hope that helped you. I'm going to leave a link in the down bar for the buyer that I uh, purchase all my uh, female canes for. If you have any questions, um, please don't hesitate to ask.